Hello everyone and welcome to RemoveiCloudLock.co's official YouTube channel. I'm the YouTube host Drake and today I have a tutorial for you guys for how to clear up cache on your iPhone device. Now you can do this on any iOS device, iOS 10 or 11, and with these few steps you can clear some easy space on your storage. So if you're trying to make more room for photos and videos or downloading more apps, whatever it may be, you can clear up some storage quick and easy by using these easy steps. So let's get right into it. So first we're going to go to uh, Facebook because Facebook is a very popular app and also takes up a lot of cash. So you're just gonna click this here and go to the settings. Click this here, you're just gonna wanna scroll all the way down to settings. Click account settings. Now we're gonna scroll down to browser and clear data for browser. Now this will clear up any cookie and cache data from websites that you've been while you're on Facebook and if you're someone who browses Facebook or Twitter or any social media a lot, it's very important that you clear your browser's data on those apps. So next up, we're going to just look at our um, settings here to see how much storage we have left and how we can clear up some just by clearing some cache on some apps. So we're gonna go to settings, general, scroll down to iPhone storage. And once we're here, we are going to scroll down and we can see the app sizes here um, of everything here. So as you guys see, uh, photos and music messages are always what takes up the most, um, games. But you wanna see apps that you might not feel like you're using a lot that still have a ton of storage. And you can just scroll down and look through some of them. And some of these apps are really small files, but still for some reason happen to um, be bigger files. So any app that you want to clear up some space on, you just click on it. For example, Snapchat, an app that takes up a ton of data, um, all you want to do, you can offload the app, which will free up it by uh, deleting documents and data, and you can also delete the app completely, re-download it, and you'll get back to that app size of 131 megabytes. As you can see, that is a lot of data compared to the app size, so clearing your data and documents are often good to clear up the space. Next up, we're going to show you guys how to clear your Safari cache. Again, if you're browsing websites a lot on your phone, this can build up a lot of storage, and clearing it up is very easy. Just click it, scroll down here to clear history of website data. It will erase everything and make everything just better. Also, you can clear up your cache for literally any app here. Um, just click on whichever one, and you can also change your access. So yeah guys, those were a few quick and easy ways to clear up some app cache on your iPhone. So if you're using a lot of apps, just think about the apps I use the most and which ones can build up data and use those and clear the cache on those. And you can definitely free up at least one to two gigabytes just by clearing your cache regularly. That's about it guys. Thank you for watching Remove iCloudLock.co's YouTube video on how to remove um, some cache on your iPhone. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.